Hello everybody, welcome back to Hollywood Sports. Hey guys, we're gonna continue with Face of the Franchise guy, episode three. Are y'all ready? Are y'all ready? Episode three guys, Face of the Franchise. Here we go, boom. All right, what we gotta do here? All right. We're gonna run a few drills together just to make sure you're ready for the game tonight. Warm up. All right. Okay, as a quarterback, you need to see all parts of the field. Hold R L2 to check out routes and personnel matchups. All right. I got my, my, my mic in front of me. I can't read the screen. Okay, you see my route. I'm running a, a deep. Give me a few seconds to reach the top speed and lightly tap my receiver icon circle to throw a lob pass way down the field. Press X to snap the ball. There we go. There we go. I just noticed, man, that's a college football, too. It's got the circles on it. Okay, you see my route. I'm running deep. Give me a few seconds to reach the speed. Lightly tap my receiver icon and lob the pass. Okay, here we go. Let's go, baby. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, here we go. All right now, running a medium route, your job is simple. When I make my cut, press and release my receiver, receiver, receiver button and throw the pass. The, the ball should land behind the linebackers. Okay. Anticipate the cut. Bullet pass. All right, I know how to do a bullet pass. Here we go. Pump fake. All right, how do we do the pump fake? All you got to do is double tap my receiver icon. That's called the pump fake and the defenders fall for it. Okay, gotcha. Woo, that felt good. That felt good and looked good. I like the animation on that pump fake. Here we go. As a quarterback. Accuracy isn't about throwing the ball at your receiver. It's about throwing it away from defenders. Hold L while you press my receiver icon and you'll lead me towards the right side of the field. Uh-oh. Low, low, low pass accuracy. As a quarterback, accuracy isn't about... Okay, so this time... We gotta hold the L button while you receive. Okay. It's a low pass accuracy. I guess I'm passing. Perfect control passing. Okay. Ah, we missed that one. All right, jump as high as anybody. Hold the L1 and press my receiver icon. Okay, hold L2 and press my receiver icon. High passes. Scramble. So if you start to feel pressure, don't stand there like a statue. Hold R2 to run. Throw the ball away.
basically just teaching us the uh, controls. Throw away. Let's see, R2, R3. All right, throw away. Out of bounds. Escape the pass rush in those instances usual out of the pocket. Okay, great. Easiest pitch and catch. And you do that tonight, and we move on. All right, all right, all right. I promise I would do longer episodes, guys. Here we go. Again, I want to thank you guys for clicking on the video, man. Thank you for checking out the channel. Thank you so much. All right, I just talked to Coach. He insists on going with a simplified game plan for you tonight. What do you think? Simplified? Well, his thinking is we keep it simple, you don't get overwhelmed, and then we rely on the defense to do their part. Wait, hold on. Is this, is this a joke? All right, look, Coach just wants to put him in the best position to succeed. No, no. This ain't high school ball, man. Or this is the semifinals. If we go out there and simplify, they're gonna destroy us. Tell him, man. Tell him. Come on, this is crazy, right? Right? Agreed. Coach needs to wake up. I'm ready for this. That's right, man. We ready to go. Listen. That's how coaches stunt talent, man. That's how they stunt talent, guys. Leaders, sometimes they have to do what's right, even if they don't like it. Got it, Coach. I got you. Yeah? <laughs> and they wonder why guys do good when they go to other teams. Ha! I hope you guys have been enjoying the videos, man. I really do. Here we go. QB1, QB1. And I hope they expand on this next year, too. You know, add more cutscenes and everything. College football season All right, guys, here we go. Semi found. Now down to four as EA Sports is proud to welcome you to AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. Tonight, it's the first of our college football playoff semifinal matchups. As we'll see the Clemson Tigers taking on the Miami Patrick Hurricanes. Patrick Mahomes It's in the building. What's up, bro? What's up, bro? Good luck tonight. Thank you. Thanks. Hey, man, don't listen to the critics. You got all the talent in the world. Just go out there and put on a show. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm going to do. It means a lot. All right, man. Hit me up when you get to the league. That's right, man. We'll have a drink yeah. or something. It's game time, baby. We're going up against Clemson. Here we go for the right to play for a national championship next Monday night in Santa Clara. We are underway from Arlington Ooh. in the national playoff semifinal. This will be taken in at the one. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. Go, go, go. Clemson now with a first and 10. No, 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 no. Good D, good D, baby. Good D. Let's go. Good D, boys. Back in the college football playoff for the fourth consecutive year. Champions in the 2016 season. Trying to make it two titles in three years if they can get things done. Here we go. Good hit. Good hit. Get me the football, baby. Get me the football. That catch good for five. It's third down. Just get me the football. Let's go. Play here this opening drive Come on, defense. Against a third and five. Get your quarterback to football, baby. Cooper from the gun. Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo. Yeah. Right and he goes down Let's go. Flat on his back. Okay, was it a breakdown of protection? Did the running back not pick him up? What does it really matter? Sometimes it's just a great play made by the defense. We playing for the U, baby. On is the punt team now as this one sent away. They're going to pin us inside the five. 
And a great job here. This is going to turn out to be a beauty. This is marked down at about the three-yard line. All right, here we go, guys. Here we go. Let's hand the ball off. Let's hand the ball off. A pretty big spot for his first ever snap, but here it is as the Hurricanes have it first and ten. They will let him throw here on the very first play. He'll try to get forward, but he's going to be stopped in his tracks at about the three. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Really shouldn't be a surprise. It's going to be hard to move people in this situation. You know they're going to bring the pressure defensively. So I remember playing in these spots, and my coaches always say, don't be afraid to try and create a safety, too. They're going to bring pressure. Now here's a throw right side taken in by Let's go. Let's in. do it. And all the way to the good play action on the goal line, baby. That's a good play action play right there. Yards there Let's do down. it. Well, that student section wasn't alive. They uh -oh, are alive uh -oh, and uh -oh. well now. That chunk play woke him up. It is starting to get really, really loud in here as this offense is on the move here in the first quarter. They're going to look to throw. Got his man. It's the yes, yes. Isaiah we saw the blitz, Street. man. We saw it. We saw it. We saw it. Mark him down at the 49. I'm talking about prime time playmaker, baby. Let's go. It started back at the 25. Well, from their point of view, this game could not be starting out much better, could it? Force a punt on defense, and now they're moving it crisply on offense. Crisply, I like that. Like yeah, that? yeah, moving it very, very well. Looks like the defense on their heels a little bit. You put a score in here, long way to go. Let's go. They don't want nobody, man. They don't want nobody. Let's go. Let's do it, baby. Grab that dagger play. Grab that play and just finish them off right now, because I think they'd love to gain that big advantage early. Well, they're piecing together a nice drive to start this one. Seems pretty scripted and pretty successful so far. And I think they did it without our help. Because you remember when we sat in with the, in the production meeting with them to talk about this. And, hey, you know, how are you guys going to come out of the gate? Yeah, we! You were the smart one. Whatever they're doing, though, it's working really well. On second down. Ah. And able to get about three as he's taking. Let's keep moving the chains, baby. Let's just keep moving the chains. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You may also just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down. Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. Oh, you shouldn't have blitzed, baby. You shouldn't have blitzed. You shouldn't have blitzed. Touchdown, Hurricanes. Good catch, Bow. And the Hurricanes have taken the early lead. An ideal start for them, really. You force the punt, and then you go down and score. And you go. They didn't want none. Clemson don't want none. Because he's turned into his bench, and he's telling his team, this is how we prepare. Force the punt, go downfield and score. I told you guys, it's just like a boxer in the gym preparing for the fight. Now we get to turn it all loose. Oh, he's going to bring it up. Couple yards deep. Ooh. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. The Clemson offense here set to take over. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out of the next formation. <laughs> So now they get a chance to go back out and say, okay, now we're into the game. Let's go play and play as best we can. We're going to smoke him, baby. We're going to smoke him. Here we come. Here we come. Here we come. Oh, he better get rid of the ball because we're coming. We're coming. Oh, he's pulling him to the left side to pick up that block. Got him. Got him. Ah, we made him throw it away. We made him rush it, baby. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah. Let's go. Third and four. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the big gun. In this case, just a two that's to his running back complete. And he'll lose Good shot, baby. Good shot. Going down back at the 28. Call it a loss of two on the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. Well, the good thing about covering any game I do with you is I know that there's no problem with rhythm. Now, let's go. Let's go back. Give me that block. 
little bit of a problem there. Yeah, part of the first drive, looking at another one here, just a little slow. It, you know, they, they were talking about a fast start, but that hasn't been the case. Yeah, and let's face it, any team we cover always talks about a That's fast true. start. That's true. But it's not necessarily going to happen just because they say so. And whether it's the script, whether it's, you know, just what they're going through, whether they're seeing different defenses, they're going to have to figure it out as this game moves on. And he'll slip his way up across the 30 to the 32. We're playing in front of the scouts, baby. Give him a couple on the carry. We're playing there. in front Second of the scouts. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Second and eight. He's going to fire one deep. Oh, well, this is taken in. It's complete. Ooh. Taken in right down Broadway. And he will take this in for a Miami <laughs> touchdown. Let's go. And he showcased his blazing speed on that one. Was he wearing football cleats or track spikes? <laughs> because he was gone. Big time play. And just think about what that does if you're a receiver on the team with him. Well, that's got to open things up. Piece of cake, man. Piece of cake. The defense. I've got to get back deeper and deeper in order to keep him in front. But I'm not sure how many can actually keep him in front with that speed. So following the touchdown, here's the Miami kick team to send this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shot at the 23-yard line. The Clemson offense heading out for their next possession. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of teams... Good D, good D. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game. They keep me in front of you, baby. scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early. Probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet. And try and generate some no way to run, baby. No way to run on this defense. Let's go. No way to run on this defense. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. That didn't appear to be a run, but he just started in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. Cooper will look to throw it. Yeah, it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. Give him 14 on that one and a first down. I like how they work the tight end on a nice little under route there. And if you're going to give him that much space, he's not going to catch the football. He's going to run away from you a little bit. And that's exactly what he just did there, picking up extra yardage. Wow. Come on, Bellamy. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it, that's going to be 15 yards. After the penalty, a fresh set of downs. It's first and 10. Going to hand to Jewel. Wow. And taking it to the wow, he's running on us. line before he's brought down. A nice pick up there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Yeah, they really needed to get something going, didn't they? They punted on the last two possessions. The running game starting to come to the front for them, providing a nice pick up there to keep this drive going. Now Cooper looks to throw. He's going to leave this. Let's keep him out of the end zone, baby. Let's keep him out of the end zone. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Really good defensive effort. They were all over that. A swing pass out to the right side before lost yardage. Terrific read, better execution, and done with a lot of enthusiasm, wasn't it? Absolutely. They saw it all the way, ran to the football, and caused a nice play for lost yardage. Here we go on second and 12. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. No, baby, no. It's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but only the second quarter. Well, I'm not in the end zone, baby. That's what I'm talking and about. He'll get it here to the 10 yard that's what line. I'm talking about. It'll be a gain of six, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. 
so much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. And his kick here is good. And they will get themselves on the board here at 14 to 3. Now that's something of a pick-me-up, but the offense certainly has struggled, but they do get the field goal before half to put three on the board. Yeah, you don't want to be shut out, but let's face it, those three points, that's not going to solve all their problems either. And out of bad return here, he gets it out to the 25-yard line. The Hurricanes offense set to begin their next drive. But Charles, so much of this offense the last few years centering around the combination of Marcus Washington and Isaiah Streets. Streets saying Washington's like a second brother to him. And of course, many know the story. We run the balance offense, baby. Brother, balance a offense. Tremendous athlete in his own right, but lost too soon to leukemia a year ago next week at the age of 20. And that is really a gut-wrenching story, as you know. And you look back at their high school days, right here in Texas, just outside of Houston. Houston. Zeke was the star quarterback, a four-year starter, 8,000 passing yards. Isaiah, a year younger, he was the receiver. The two of them told recruiters, you know we're a package deal, so if you're coming to get us, you're getting both of us. And Zeke actually recruited by both of these teams playing the here tonight. Streets on the street the right down the left side. Playing for a national championship together, and now Isaiah with a chance to fulfill at least part of that dream. And he will find his big tight end over the middle. And they're going to across midfield and inside the 45. Well, they were in search of a short gain on third down and they wind up nabbing over 20 yards. There's so much made about the fact that we've got a quarterback who's never seen the field in a college football game, but if you go back to his high school days, he's played in front of crowds, uh, maybe not quite this size, but it wasn't that more Really tight that coverage 15, right there. We're trying to lob it up over. People in the stands at his high school games, and the numbers from his senior year as a prepster, impressive. Led his team to a 14-0 record, threw for close to 4,700 yards, 37 touchdowns, just four interceptions, and he also chipped in 11 rushing touchdowns to boot. So it's not as if this guy doesn't know what he's doing out there under center. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts. Now we're trying to score up in here. The stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Back to throw here. Wide open receiver complete. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. Well, you have to think to this point in the semifinal matchup, you've got to be very impressed with the way that he's moved this offense. And they really have not missed a beat from the way that Marcus Washington led them during the regular season. If anything, actually, they might be moving the ball a little bit better. Defense. We get to stop the clock, too, baby. So give them the yardage on the pass and half the distance in. to the goal line. Because they're inside the 30. So now you don't march off the full 15, right? You have half the distance to the goal. In any event, that's precious real estate given up. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. Second and goal from the six this time. They'll give it to Stallings. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. The Hurricanes now going to send out the field goal unit from the right hash, and this one just a chippy. And his kick is good. And they will stretch the lead now to 17-3. to Still a little bit of time left here in the second quarter, but they do get three before the half and expand that lead. And they have to be happy about that. And we haven't met a team yet that doesn't put an emphasis on trying to get points on the board in the last two minutes of a half. They'll be real excited to have those up on the board. All right. What I'm gonna what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do, guys, I'm not gonna play the whole game. Uh, we got a big lead, 17 to 3. So what I'm gonna do is just to finish this half out and then we'll continue after the game on the next video. And they're just going to run it here up the middle. I appreciate you guys for watching, man. All hurricanes and uh, in the first half. I hope you enjoyed it, man. New QB. We're going to continue right after the game in the next episode. I want to say thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.
Hey, let's see what's going on. Okay. Let's check it in with you. How do you feel about the first half? <laughs> That's how we're playing. Let's go. Be a great first half. We keep doing what we're doing. We might win this thing. There's a lot of wheeze in that sentence. It's a good thing to recognize your teammates. But you remember, you're leading the charge tonight, all right? So get out there and let's put this thing away. Second half. Let's go. Hey. Coach. Really good job out there in the first half. I, uh... I should have trusted you more. That's on me. I'm over it. All that matters is the win. <laughs> My boy's cool. My boy's cool. You handle it if I open up the playbook a little bit in the second half? Let's do it. Let's do it. Get him. Thanks, coach. All right. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and end it right here. I'm going to finish the game, and then we'll come back for episode four in the next video. Thanks for watching.